the massive ape Gigantopithecus is the closest thing to a mythological giant that we have in the fossil record. Gigantopithecus is an extinct genus of great apes. It is considered to be a sister genus of the orangutans. In fact, a 2019 study that analyzed the DNA of a 1.9 million year old fossil tooth confirmed that Gigantopithecus and orangutans once shared a common ancestor and that the two genuses diverged from one another between 10 and 12 million years ago. The genus Gigantopithecus comprises of three separate species. The first and largest, Gigantopithecus blackii, lived in the middle Pleistocene epoch and shared its territory towards the end of its existence with various populations of Homo erectus, the ancestors of Homo sapiens. The second, Gigantopithecus thorensis, inhabited northern India and its fossils date to around 6 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch, and it lived in about the same time frame as the oddly named Gigantopithecus giganteus, which was only about half the size of its cousin, Gigantopithecus blackii. In this video, we will explore the biology of one of the most fascinating creatures to have ever inhabited our planet. The first fossil specimens were found by the Dutch paleontologist von Konigswald in a Chinese drugstore in 1935, where they were known as dragon teeth. He identified the dragon teeth as two molars. The teeth had many similarities to humans, and thus this had led some paleomorphologists to speculate that humans might have had giant ancestors. Later discoveries of complete mandibles demonstrated that they were from extinct apes. The newly discovered species was named Gigantopithecus blackii, in honour of the friend and colleague of von Konigswald, Davidson Black. Since then, nearly 2,000 teeth as well as four partially complete jaws have been found, mostly in cave sites in South China and Vietnam. A large spectrum of diets have been suggested for Gigantopithecus, ranging from carnivorous to a vegetarian diet dominated by bamboo. The jaws of Gigantopithecus were deep and thick, and its molars were low crowned and flat, and possessed thick enamel suitable for grinding tough plants. Its premolars were also built similarly to the molars, and its canines were not sharp or pointed. All of the features of the teeth and jaws suggest that the animal was adapted to chewing tough fibrous food by cutting and grinding it. Its teeth also have a large number of cavities, similar to those found in giant pandas, whose diet consists of a large amount of bamboo so its diet may be similar to Gigantopithecus. However, not all paleontologists agree with this. An analysis of stable carbon isotopes in its teeth show that Gigantopithecus was a forest dweller with a generalist vegetarian diet and was not necessarily specialized on bamboo. The carbon isotopic compositions of Gigantopithecus were very different from those of omnivorous and carnivorous species, but very similar to those of orangutans. In conclusion, it appears that Gigantopithecus was a pure vegetarian and it likely consumed all kinds of plants, such as fruits, seeds and leaves, and it was not specialized on any particular food. When the carbon isotopic analyses were done, the results indicated that the environment of Gigantopithecus blackii and the associated mammalian megafauna was vegetation dominated by C3 plants from a dense forest or possibly an open savanna environment. C4 plants were commonly distributed in the subtropical region of South China. The places where Gigantopithecus blackii fossils have been found is mainly covered by subtropical forest flora today. In these regions, C4 photosynthesis species constitute only about 2.5% of the total 2,685 vascular plant species, and graminia are the leading C4 species and constitute about 36% of the total grasses. Surveys of a subtropical monsoon evergreen broadleaf forest in South China have shown that C4 plants only survive in open ground areas and cannot be found in dense forests. If Gigantopithecus lived in an open environment at the Jiangxi site, where the fossils that were analysed were found, C4 grasses should have been common, and the associated animal grazers would have consumed C4 grasses as well. Early Pleistocene mammals from this site consumed as much as 70% C4 grasses in their diet and lived in an open habitat, as evidenced by their carbon isotopic signatures. All the above data supports a subtropical dense forest for the habitat of Gigantopithecus blackii and the associated large mammals.
Measurements of fossil teeth allow paleontologists to estimate the primate's height and weight. The height of Gigantopithecus blackii has been estimated to be at roughly 10 feet and have a weight of up to 300 kilos. Such calculations point to Gigantopithecus blackii as being the largest hominid ever known. Its smaller cousin Gigantopithecus giganteus was only about the same size of an orangutan. The remains of Gigantopithecus blackii have largely been excavated from caves in southern China, which suggests to some paleontologists that the species was restricted to that region. Fossils discovered in northern Vietnam and Thailand, however, could represent additional specimens that point to a larger geographical range and a longer survival time. Some studies argue that the species survived as late as 100,000 years ago and probably sharing the same landscape with Homo erectus. Gigantopithecus blackii is thought to have succumbed to extinction after cooler temperatures in southern China reduced and later eliminated the forests upon which it depended on for food.